welcome to um, university. <laughs> hey guys, so today I'm going to run you through a list of interview questions for nurses that helped me get a job at the ICU. So I currently work at the Neuroscience ICU at one of the best hospitals. It's a Magna Hospital. The experience so far has been amazing. I also ran over these interview questions with my cousin. Interview for a cardiovascular ICU unit and she ended up getting it. So I thought why not make these questions available to you. So they are key words that are being searched for with okay boats. We hear you. We hear you. Now that it's summertime all the boats want to be honking. Nursing interviews are looking for keywords. They are looking for words like team player, efficient communication, interpersonal and interdisciplinary, and interprofessional conversations. They are looking for things like that. So when they ask you a question, you want to make sure that you pulled up examples, you have those keywords ready to go, and you're basically ready to smash. Why are you interested in working at blank hospital? What specifically inter interests you about this position and this department? This is a great opportunity to show that you've done your research on the hospital, talk about their magnet status, talk about their benefits, talk about the awards that they've gotten. A huge one right now is talking about how they handled COVID and what kind of breakthrough um, research that they were doing for COVID, how they were supporting their own employees, things like that. Tell me about a time you had to deal with a customer or patient who was dissatisfied with the care or service they received and how you remedied the situation. Basically what they're looking for in this situation is are you able to de-escalate um, situations? Are you able to analyze and quickly provide solutions to problems? So you need to pull up at least three different examples that you have from these kind of situations. They also ask a lot about teamwork. So the question could be as so. Much of the work in our hospitals is accomplished in a team or group setting. Please describe a recent project that you've worked on as part of a team. Um, so this just shows that you've worked with not only other nurses, but doctors, physical therapists, respiratory therapists. They just want to see that you have a really good grasp on the hospital environment and the work environment. Give me an example of a time you had to be relatively quick in coming to a decision. So if you want to work in any hospital, majority of the hospitals in America are understaffed at the moment. Um, and also if you work in an intensive care unit, you're going to have to be very quick on your feet and able to make good rational decisions. So given an example of a time that you had to be quick in coming to a decision is really good. So pull up a couple of examples. My example here was my baby who is a vent dependent baby at home. He had some emesis, so he threw up, and I had to be really quick in both assessing his oxygen needs, checking if he had aspirated any of his throw up, <laughs> and also checking if he was good for the next 15, 20, 30 minutes up to an hour, and assessing and stabilizing the situation as a whole. Another question is, give an example of an important goal which you had set in the past, and tell me about your success in reaching this goal. Another question that you can think about is tell me about a time when you had to go above and beyond the call of duty in order to get a job done. They want to see how dedicated you are to healthcare, how dedicated you are to your patients, how dedicated you are to yourself and what your core values are and goals are as a person. Um, another question that they could possibly ask is what do you know about our organization? Um, and then how would you describe your skills? So this skills is a very technical question because you're looking for really keywords. So team player is one of those really good keywords. Um, if you're a new nurse, you can say that I will bring a fresh perspective and a different perspective because you're not quite used to doing things one way. You're open to doing things in many, many different ways. Um, let's see, I said I genuinely have a passion for kids and their well-being. This was when I was interviewing for a children's hospital, which I didn't end up going there. And then a last question that they could possibly ask is describe any leadership or other types of activities you may have participated in that have contributed to your professional. That last question caught off, but it was going to say professional growth. And I 
give an example of just the different types of roles that I've undertaken that have made me um, just be in charge, such as being a resident assistant and many, many other things. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want the list of questions, I will be very happy to put them in the description bar. And yeah, let me know how your interview goes below.